Hi there guys. Today we're going to watch a demo of the app called Inviter. What does it do? Well, let's first manually complete a task that Inviter can perform automatically. Imagine that you have received an SMS from your friend saying, Hi John, let's meet on the 10th of December at 5 p.m. and you want to create a calendar event and set a reminder so that you don't miss it. Let's bring up the calendar and do it. Let's enter the title, meet with Mike and friends. Now let's set the time, that is, um, let's check it again in the SMS. Yeah, 5 p.m., all right. Back to the calendar. Oh, I'll have to type the title again. Okay. Meet with Mike and friends at 5 p.m. And let's set the alarm to one hour before the event. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, we've got an SMS and created a calendar event based on that SMS. So what does Inviter do? It automatically creates calendar events for you. Let's see what happens when the same SMS is received by another device with the Inviter app installed on it. I have received the SMS and wow, the calendar event is already created. As simple as that. You don't have to create events manually anymore. Now let's walk through the first launch of Inviter. You are offered to scan your SMSs received in the last two weeks and create corresponding calendar events. Here we are, two events are going to be created. This is a confirmation screen that asks you if you are OK with the properties of the first calendar event that is going to be created. Hi will arrive on the 12th of December at 2 a.m. Yeah, I'm okay with that. The first event is created. Let's move on to the second one. Hi John, let's meet on the 10th of December at 5 p.m. Say I want to change the time of the event to 1 a.m. And set the reminder to 3 hours before the event. Now the second event is also created. Let's check the calendar. Here is the first event. And here is the second one. Great! Now we are going to walk through the home screen and the settings. This is the home screen of the app. Here you can see the history of the created calendar events. At the moment, we can see two events that we have just created. This is very useful because here you can see how the app works and you can change dates and some other properties of created events. Say you decided to change the duration of the event from two hours to all day. You can simply tap this event and change the duration. Okay, now let's go through the settings. I'll describe them in brief because they're pretty self-explanatory. Add events manually. You choose if the app should ask for your confirmation before creating an event or do everything automatically without disturbing you. In automatic mode you will see the small application icon in the notification area of the screen each time a calendar event is created. Color skins. You can select a pretty fine skin or create your custom one. SMS languages. 
Here you can select languages in which you commonly receive SMSs. Please do not select unnecessary languages, otherwise it can cause the application to work incorrectly. Default Calendar By default, events will be created in the selected calendar. Ignore List Here you can add all the SMS spammers and Inviter will ignore them. Default Event Settings I will not describe this as they are exactly the same settings as the ones you see when you create events manually in the calendar. Leave a review. We would really, really appreciate your feedback. That's all. Thank you guys and visit us at inviter-app.com.